Hey, welcome back once again, all you CISSP soon to bees. I am Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day, where every single day I come to you with two questions to help you continue as you study for the CISSP exam. Let's go ahead and get right in it. All right, question number one coming at you today from the world of cryptography. I do love some cryptography. I think it's super cool stuff. Uh, you are using an algorithm which generates a seemingly random stream of bits that are then exclusive ORed with your plain text data in order to produce ciphertext. My question to you is, what type of cipher or algorithm are you using? Here's your answer choices. Go ahead and give those a ponder. Think about it. When you're ready, you got the right answer, click play again. We can talk it all through. All right, the answer choice that you're looking for here is I am describing to you a stream cipher. Stream ciphers operate by using some sort of a key stream generator. Okay, and that key stream generator produces key stream, which is a seemingly endless stream of ones and zeros that are produced, which are then bit by bit exclusive ORed with your plain text data and the resulting output of that operation we call ciphertext. If you were to produce that same key stream on the other side, on the receiving side, and then take that key stream and exclusive order with the ciphertext data, you get decryption. You get the plain text back. So that's exactly what a stream cipher does. All right, here comes question number two. A little bit of cloud today. Everything's fluffy white clouds. Now, <clears throat> right up in here, we'll make a happy little cloud. Uh, you work for a company and is uh, that company is preparing for a migration to the cloud where you're going to move some of your existing servers and the services and apps that they run um, into the cloud. However, you need to be able to retain control of the underlying operating system uh, for whatever reason. So my question to you is, is when you look at all the available cloud services that are out there, which one do you need in order to accomplish that particular objective? These are your answer choices. Go ahead and click on pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play. Tell me which one it is. Right, your first choice up here, Platform as a Service, or PaaS, as some people like to say, P-A-A-S. Uh, no, not the right answer. Uh, platform as a Service is when you go in and, in essence, purchase a, a, a development environment as well as the capacity to publish applications and are not bothered by any of the underlying infrastructure along with it. You simply want to go in and develop a web app or a piece of software or a game or something that's going to run in, say, a mobile environment and you want to be able to host that, uh, scale it as appropriate based upon its, its usefulness or popularity or how many users it's gonna have, uh, but you don't wanna be bothered by having to go in and administer an operating system underneath. So uh, platform as a service is not what we're looking for right here. Your next answer choice, which is infrastructure as a service, or some people say IaaS or IaaS, uh, that is absolutely what you're looking for. Um, infrastructure as a service, really if we kind of simplified it into just a plain Jane sort of statement, it's, it's virtual servers in the cloud. Okay, you're gonna go in and actually have virtual servers that run an operating system of your choosing, typically Windows or some sort of variant of Linux, and you're gonna be responsible for the configuration of that operating system, including patching it, installing software, or any other necessary uh, components on it, and doing all the hardening and managing and, and all that stuff associated with it, just like as if it was an actual physical server or one of your virtual servers in your physical data center. So um, it's, it's really no difference in terms of its management other than where it is. So infrastructure as a service is very much what you want for that. The other thing that you get with infrastructure as a service is typically all the other sort of infrastructure related items along with it. For instance, you have networks and subnets to go in and manage and you have firewall rules and things like that that you need to go in and configure to control access to these different resources um, that are there. Uh, but the key thing with this, as far as this question is concerned, is that these are still your servers to manage, albeit they virtual servers. The other two answer choices on here, which are not your answers, uh, software as a service and storage as a service. Storage as a service is simply storage in the cloud. Uh, very famous examples are Microsoft's OneDrive, Apple's iCloud, uh, Dropbox. Uh, there's a ton of them that are out there, but those are certainly some of the more prevalent and popular ones. And then of course there is software as a service. And software as a service is when you have a piece of software, an app that um, was 
in many instances traditionally available as something that you would install on your local computer, but is now simply available to you uh, basically through a web interface. And anywhere that you have a web browser, you can access this software or an app that you can put on your phone or on your tablet or something like that. Uh, some, some easy examples, of course, would be something like uh, Google Docs, which goes in and gives you a very versatile, you know, uh, desktop suite in terms of a, a word processing program and a spreadsheet program and uh, even a presentation program without you having to do anything other than have a computer with internet connectivity and a web browser. So there's no software to install on your computer. Uh, we see the same thing with uh, larger instances, uh, probably one of the more famous ones that gets talked about is salesforce.com for uh, you know, customer contact management and customer relationship management. And uh, then you also have other, other say, software suites like uh, QuickBooks. QuickBooks is something that's been traditionally installed on a user's computer, but now we see QuickBooks moving to the software as a service model where you go in and you pay a monthly or monthly or annual subscription fee, and then you have access to QuickBooks in a web browser, and for the most part, it behaves exactly as if it were installed on your actual computer. So that's software as a service for that. But again, this question was all about you having your own infrastructure in the cloud, with your own servers to still manage, put them on different networks, have the traffic flow in between them, and create the rules that allow for their connectivity. And that's what infrastructure as a service is all about. All right, two more questions down. Appreciate that. Thanks for being here. First question today was on making sure that you understand the difference or what a stream cipher is. There's stream ciphers and block ciphers. Definitely make sure you feel good about the difference between stream ciphers and block ciphers come exam time. And then also we talked a little bit about uh, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, storage as a service. Uh, just say a word and then say as a service after it. And yeah, there's probably that too. Uh, and if there isn't, there probably will be by the end of the day. So again, thanks for being here. Hope you like these questions. If you do, make sure you click on like. If you want to get notified or, or find out every day when I publish these up, click on subscribe. I'll really appreciate that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.